Hey there, and this tutorial is going to cover how I created the animated map in Motion 5 that we can then also then use in Final Cut Pro X. So I'm going to create a new motion project, Broadcast HD 180, and I'm going to go for 29.97 frames per second. I go for 30 frames per second. Um, duration of 390 frames should be okay. Um, now here I've already got a um, vector map which will um, first of all we'll go to fit and we'll drag this onto our stage and center it up you see the yellow lines give us centering if you hold down command it will turn off snapping and we can drag it around wherever we like and if you let go of command then it will turn snapping back on so we'll drop that into our scene and you can see that this map is currently white and black if we want to add some color to this, then we would go over to our library, go to our filters, go to color correction, and colorize. We drag that onto our map. We'll turn it, the effect off for the moment. So you can see that um, our map is white and black. That's the best color that you want to have if you're going to colorize something. Because you'll see in the colorize filter inspectors, you can remap black and you can remap white. So all of our blacks will become the new color that we want to map it to. And all of our whites will also become that new color. So let's say we're going to make it um, blue and we'll remap our white to a slightly whitish blue like that. Okay? So that basically is our um, adding the color to our map using the colorize filter. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is place two points on the map which we want to animate between. So um, let's say we're going to be going from Tokyo to Bangkok. So we're going to want to add in a circle and we'll hold down shift key as we drag this. That will keep it as a perfect circle. If I let go of the shift key, you can see it can become an ellipse. If I hold down shift, it will keep it as a circle. That's what we want. Um, so once we have this circle, we're going to um, change the color of it. Let's change the color to red so it's easily to stand out. And we're going to create a clone of this. So you go up to the circle in your, in your layers here. We're going to make a right click on it and make a clone layer. That now means if I change the color of the first circle, it will change the color of the second one as well. So we'll drag this out to our other location, which will be, say, Tokyo here. So if I, we go to our original circle and I change the color, you will see there in our layers and also on here, it's changed the color of both of our circles. So the clone whatever we do to our original one, it will also then do to the clone. So there's our two spots. We're going to position those a little bit more accurately for the location. So Bangkok would be, say, around here. Again, you might want to turn off snapping so you can accurately place this. You hold down the command key and drag it. And there we go. Okay. And then the other thing we're going to want to add will be our text. So we just grab the text editor, click in here, and we'll put Tokyo. And the other one we're going to want will be Bangkok. So once we've added Tokyo, and then we'll add Bangkok down here. Um, now in our text, we're going to want to edit the color. So we'll go to our properties of our um, text and format. Uh, we can change the font here, we can change the size and the style, we can change the color. So let's make this something which stands out on our screen. Maybe we'll go for this. Mm. How about black? Yeah, we'll go for black. Just makes it stand out on our screen and the same for Tokyo. We'll also go for black as well. Okay. Um, 
So we just want to position the text again. I'll hold down the command key so I can position it exactly how I want it. And our Tokyo text as well. There we go. So that's the basic setup of our map. Um, now we're going to want to add a camera to the scene. So we'll click on this, switch to 3D, and then we can see now we're in a 3D environment and we can spin everything around. But you'll see that everything is still flat. Even though we're in a 3D environment, our layers are all still flat. Our text and everything is all stacked on, on the same layer, basically. And then we can also dolly in and out. We can zoom in and out using that. Um, so what we're going to want to do is add a little bit of depth to this map and a little bit of shadow and some lighting. So um, I'm going to want to select my text. Let's select both of those. And... We'll drag them out a little bit from the map. So we'll use this here and we drag them out slightly. So now you'll see when we pan around to the side, they are no longer lying flat on the map. There's a little bit of a gap. Okay. Then we'll also do the same for our two circles. But we want to drag those out a little bit less than what we dragged the text. So just a smidgen like that. Okay. And then we're going to want to light the scene so that we can create some shadows. So we'll add a light. And we're going to want to turn on shadows. Maybe increase the softness a little bit of those shadows. And we'll change the light maybe to a spotlight. Now if we go to our... Uh, side view we pull that out and then we go to our front view and we'll reposition this over the area of the map that we want to light go back to our active camera now because our shadow is black and our text is black it's kind of not creating a great effect so let's change our text color We'll change the face. Um, let's go maybe for this cyan color here. And the same for our Bangkok text. We'll change the color to this. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to soften the shadow a little bit, a little bit harsh. So we'll do decrease the opacity and we'll increase the softness. And then one other thing I want to do to this text, just to make it stand out, we're going to add a stroke to it. So we'll go back to our text, we'll turn on the outline, and the outline color will make black. Just to make the text stand out. So we'll turn on the outline and we'll make that text color black. And there we go. Now we may want to do the same with our dots. So again, uh, we'll go to our, our original circle. We'll turn on the outline. And we'll make the outline black also. And there we have now our little setup. Now uh, let's just increase the softness of our shadows slightly and we'll also adjust our cone angle a little bit for the soft edge there we go okay so that's pretty much the basic setup of our map so the next thing we're going to want to do is going to be adding the um, spline that goes between the two and animating that. And I'll show you how we do that animation in part two of this tutorial. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.